Uncover them. All right. Show the people. Oh, hey, you guys. I am in the metaverse. You're in the metaverse for audio listeners. He's wearing his brand new Quest Pro that came in. Dude. Are you hanging out with Zoc? need Apple's headset now. How do you Apple. feel? Apple. Wait, where's the war music? Hold on. It's very hard. Oh, to here we go. Audio. Look what you've Hold done. On. Oh, we have Apple. I am done not being invited to events. I am literally pre-announcing your products so that I can go to the AR VR event. Are you gonna go in VR? Just make your own. <laughs> that's, so, that's so sad because that's exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> that's the closest alone. you'll ever get. Bro, this this is the closest I'm gonna be to Apple Park for the next event. I know. In my in my room. I thought about making little... Apple Park my background, but I I did not. So I mean, hold on. Yeah. I thought you were just gonna join me in the metaverse, but you're in like a. Are you in? The, where are you? Are you in the metaverse right yeah, now? Yeah, you could say that if the metaverse is Ohio. Yeah. Why? Why do you keep going? What like if that's all so it is? Much. What if met, the metaverse is just Ohio? <laughs> 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 Sam's wearing his Ohio shirt. Oh, okay, cool. yeah, for yeah. audio listeners, oh. things things might sound a little bit different. Things look different I have to, to take the. Off. I have to take yeah, you might want to take it off. I, I'll cover you. Things might look a little bit different if you're watching the video version. Uh, I am traveling. I'm in Ohio for a short trip. We had to do the podcast. Brian, the producer, writer for Front Page Tech, he lives in Ohio. I'm in his office. He set me up with the, I'm on a microphone, and I, I bought a MacBook Air. That's a whole story. I'm on a, The camera that you see is just a MacBook Air camera. And it looks, I, it looks fun. I'm quickly set up, and I'm doing Genius Bar in his office. There's a green screen behind me. I mean, there's not a green screen. I'm legit at the Genius Bar, as you can see. I yes. thought about putting Boss Baby behind me, but you're lucky. I just, I didn't. I thought oh, thank cooler. you, man. You're welcome. It's uh, kind so, of a yeah. new identity. No, yeah. I, I really do. I kind so, of want it. it looks uh, good on Twitter. Things will be back to normal next week, but here we are. Uh, and I'm glad that I could at least do this, and I'm not like everybody you know, in a park somewhere on no. the phone. Round, no. round no. of applause. That's not the applause. That's not it. Hold on. Round of applause that he he put in the effort we to do the show. We did it. We have done it. Thank you so much. You know much. why? Oh, my God. I want to die. John, it's because we have a special announcement. The next merch drop. Wait. I feel like I need to be in a better mood for this. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Get in a better uh, mood because tell me a this joke. is tell it. Tell me a joke. John, I don't know if you've noticed. Tell me a joke. I need to laugh and get in a better mood. The uh, best joke you have. The best one. So, oh, I don't really have any. Um, okay. I have one. Ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody who? Get it? You get it? Because nobody was there. His face when he finally realized. Okay, I'm in a better mood now. Okay, go on. Yeah, but no, 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 no. I, I am not in a good mood now. That's all I had. Because the there was joke. nobody at the door. That's the best joke I just have. Like I just like every relationship I'm in, John. There's nobody at the door. Oh, my God. It's just me in the metaverse. Knock, Look, knock. I'm happy, John. Okay, well, I'm knock. a really happy guy. Knock, knock. New mer merch drop here from Genius. Okay, listen, guys. A joke if, this, aside, if there's not enough chaos here, I don't know what to we, give. Them. We, I don't. We have been really struggling lately. So I said, you know what? It's time to bring the world joy. There's been so much hate in the world, John. Yeah. Right. You've been getting canceled left and right for saying all kinds of things. Adidas cut ties with you. With me? Yeah, they with, cut, I was. I, they don't make the John Prosser shoes anymore. You're right. No, they, dude, imagine if you had. That would be actually so sick. What, what brand, though, Sam? I'm curious. If you had one brand to work with for shoes, like, is there, is there like a favorite brand of shoes you have or wear? I don't give a single fuck. In that case, I know something that you can give a frick about, John. Yeah, go ahead. A frick. Okay, so people might say, "What's been going on?" He's been wearing bomber jackets and videos a little bit more recently. He has. John, I'd like to introduce. What is this sound? I'd like to introduce. Sam, why do you have that sound? <laughs> I don't know. What I'd is it for? I'd, I'd like to introduce to you. Taps are this is sad. too sad. We, oh yeah, we need like happy music. Make happy music. Make happy music. We'd like to introduce the genius. Look at this, boys. Look at that. Oh, that's his ass. 
Yeah! For audio listeners, we're showing the brand new Genius Supply Bomber Jacket. Let's go! No one can hear you, Sam. No one can hear you. The Genius Bomber. John has not got his yet because he had the emergency trip to Ohio. Well, I got but it, this but you thing, know. Yeah. Did I mention that it's fully reversible? Oh, here we go. This is Sam's wet dream. Like, I'm pretty sure this is our final merch drop ever. We have peaked. This is what Sam has wanted since day one. Everything we've ever done has built up to this moment. Dude, I people, people don't know what I've gone through to make this jacket a reality, bro. This is like I'm, Sam, out of everything we've ever done, Sam has always wanted to do this. Sam loves bomber jackets. This is all he, basically, he doesn't even care if you buy it or not. He just is glad that he has one now. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I did this for me. Wanted. Look at this, bro. Not only is the color stunning, John, you might be asking, why'd you guys pick orange? Well, John, did you know in this MA-1 style design created for military pilots, it was actually made orange on the inside so that when you fell out of your plane, you could be seen from the, the ground. That's how, that's, Other how I can, that's how I can save you <laughs> yeah, when exactly. you're falling. Oh, by the way, yeah, youtube.com slash genius bar. Audio listeners, I'm sorry that we're doing this. I know yes. that we're showing you stuff. We just just go to youtube.com slash genius bar just this week. We'd appreciate it so you can see what we're talking about. Uh, we're sorry. Mm. That we don't want you to feel left out. Listen, guys, you can get this on genius.supply. Are we dropping this? I mean, I don't see why not. Uh, no. Yeah, we're doing it. We're, We've we're never gonna... dropped something on the show, have we? No. So it's out now. The jacket's out now. We're calling an audible like Tom Brady, but uh, not divorced. Listen, this jacket is going to be available order from seven days from today. All right. You have seven days to get this exclusive one of a kind high quality bomber jacket. It's going to be $89.99 on genius.supply. Genius.supply. That's such an easy Guys, URL, dude. I know. I'm so happy that we got it. It's so genius cool. Genius.supply. Um, literally everyone that has seen this jacket in person, it was sent to some of our friends of Genius Bar, enemy of the around. show, Gregory McFadden said oh, he was we, impressed we sent it to greg i sent it to greg I, he the was part he was like one i know but everyone ian zelbo luke miani that have seen it that have touched it they're freaking out all right this is the perfect jacket for spring and fall john i'm so sad you don't have yours because it's game changing i'm like, upset about a lot of things to be <laughs> to be honest yeah, uh, i'm upset this this, for... <laughs> yeah this is just uh, just add it to the list really Bro, I don't have my headset. I, I don't have my jacket. I'm in Ohio. It's like a whole thing. God, man, I'm alone. Nobody really wants bad. me. It's a whole thing, dude. Well, that part's relatable. But you know who does want you, John? Who wants me? The genius bomber. And the geniuses. Do the geniuses want me? If you want the me, geniuses. you'll buy a jacket. I'm gonna do Listen. it, Sam. I'm gonna. If you, I'm doing the thing. If you love, if you love me, you'll buy this jacket. Dude, this you thing... You're going to tell me you don't have eighty nine ninety nine Because I know you do. You know Listen. why? Because you buy stupid shit. Buy less <laughs> stupid shit. And <laughs> buy the bomber jacket. Dude, this thing is incredible. Uh, it, like I said, water resistant. Uh, very thin. Like, perfect. Not not too thin, though. It's not like... like I, I'd say the perfect temperatures for this jacket are like... Now. 55 to 70 degrees. Like, you can even probably stretch it to so 50 right now, a little bit. Yeah. Perfect for now. Amazing in the spring. And you can even layer this on with another jacket on top and look even more fly. All Absolutely right. It's genius.supply, the genius bomber. It's official. You can get it now. Um, just a quick note, because this is a new drop, uh, the orders are going to probably take about three to four weeks to get you guys because we have to order all of them, it's get like them printed. Thing. Yeah, well, so, like pack well, there's them. been so many conversations because the, the issue is everyone has a different size and we don't want to yeah. leave anybody out. So uh, order your jacket. We'll make sure you get your size. We'll make sure you get in three to four weeks. Uh, this is And also, listen, this is just a very special thing to Sam. This is Sam loves bom Sam loves bomber jackets. He worked really hard on this. This is like a personal project for Sam, and uh, I, I would appreciate it if you bought a jacket for eighty nine ninety nine. Stop buying stupid shit and buy the jacket instead. That's the slogan. Put it on the website. That was actually really really nice, man. Did you, this did you is mean that? you've been talking about this for months. This is like your. This is like I don't even know what we do after this. This is your peak. <laughs> this is what you wanted oh, the whole no, time. No, no. Every merch drop is it. leading up to a bomber jacket. Oh, just this is just version one. 
Oh, there's there's uh, more coming, but I will say for the foreseeable future, this is going to be the yeah. only and the best bomber jacket. Literally makes everyone look cooler. This is yeah. It this will... is we need to. I need to just jump in and clarify. This yeah. is not a cheap bomber jacket. Like this was yes. not cheap to make. Sam wouldn't do that. This is so important no, to Sam, and he's no, no, so no. picky. We went through many <laughs> samples. This has been a this has been a whole thing. So just just believe us. Listen. Have we ever lied to them when we say, hey, no. the Genius Closet is the softest blanket you're ever going to touch? What happened? No. Softest blanket. Hey, this yeah. is the best towel you're ever going to have. What happened? Best towel. Hey, there's an iPad mini in one of these packages. What happens? You get an iPad mini. It's a yeah. whole thing. We've never lied to you. And when I say that Sam has, has gone through many samples and done his picky <sighs> Sam stuff and picked the exact bomber jacket he wants, and that is what we're delivering to you, you believe me, it is worth the price. Listen, we could have. Is that a good pitch? Free it was an amazing pitch. Yeah. We could have three months ago found somebody that would just slap an embroider a print on the back of a cheap jacket and sold it to you, but we didn't. I spent on it, like John said, five to seven different samples imported in some cases from different parts of the world. Yeah. Um, we settled on this model and uh, I just, I just really think you guys are going to like it. It is, it, if you're trying to impress somebody, slap one of these on, they're going to be like, damn, something's different yeah. about you. I want to date you now. All right. Like, That's personally what, why what I a, made this. What is a genius? They're gonna be, what's the genius thing? What is a genius, genius supply? Thing? Yeah. Genius it's supply. Like, it looks yeah. great if you're wearing it outside, but also if you know, you know. If you're a genius, exactly. you fucking know. The geniuses, we're going to see each other. We're going to see the back of one of us. Downtown New yeah. York City, Times Square. You're going to see somebody with a genius supply and be like, That's a guy who knows what's That's up. That's a genius. That's a genius. Genius.supply, guys. All right, we're, we're going to do the actual show now. Wanted to get that out of the way. But yeah, seven days from now. So orders, let me do the math. They'll end a week from today on this phone's dead. What's a week from today, my Dude, guy? How we're is your all phone over. always dead? We're having issues. It'll end on today. November November 4th. It's November 4th November is the 4th. last day to order. It's never coming back. Um, like I said, it's now or never. We priced it the fairest we could. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you so much. And thank you for supporting us along the way. Thank you. Do you okay. want to do another signed postcard? Uh, I think. Well, I think we've got enough on our hands for. Um, <laughs> for <this one. laughs> I think uh, packaging. <laughs> oh, Dude, so, I literally you want to sign gonna... like an Ohio postcard and just uh, deliver it. I'm gonna h hire like three of my friends to help ship these because I oh think the God. order volume is probably gonna be, you know, yeah. more than one little one little white boy in St. Louis can handle. Should we talk about some Apple news? I mean, that's kind of what we do, yeah. <sighs> John. Sam, where are you looking? I've got to grab an accessory. Please keep them entertained. I've got oh, lots the... of show. Into... Yeah, I've, had a, I've, I've had a MetaQuest Pro, a Genius Bomber. I'm grabbing yeah. the third gadget. This is one of many. Yeah, it seems this whole episode seems like an ad. Oh, by the way, uh, for audio listeners and for video watchers, I've been putting the ads a little bit later in the show, so I give you like a half hour of the show of just completely clean, no ads for the first half hour. Let me know what you guys think about that, if you if you appreciate that. I was telling them, I don't know if you noticed, Sam, but I had been starting the ads about 30 minutes in the show, so I give them mm. like the first 30 minutes completely clean. That's cool. I really yeah, appreciate and that. then the ads start after 30 minutes. I have not, I have not noticed. Yeah, you know what I have noticed, though, John? What you have, what you have noticed? I've noticed this new iPad. Oh, the new, the new, the yellow oh. iPad, dude. It looks. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It looks great. It's not listen, great, but it looks great. Listen, no, no, no. The, the iPad itself, really, no complaints about, except the fact that it's like Apple Pencil One. But that's whatever. I, okay. I get why they did it. Now it's yeah. probably for schools and stuff. It's like I have to be honest. I've wanted to keep this iPad just because of how it looks. Okay. Like I, I don't know. It's just that. It's so I think cool. you should keep it. It's, it's so I have to yellow, bro. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is the worst accessory I've ever touched in my life. Ever. You, MagSafe battery pack. War, way worse. You hate that. You hate it more than the MagSafe battery pack. Bro. Sam. This You thing, dirty dog. This keyboard okay. feels like it should cost $60. Let me show you the first reason I say this. Because people are like, that's a strong claim for Okay, uh, for context and for me, because they don't know how much does hey, keyboard cost everybody, by itself. It's two hundred fifty dollars. Holy shit! Yeah, insane. It because I was like, hey, I was skeptical of the Magic That's Keyboard. That's a lot being of dollars, dude. Three fifty. The Magic Keyboard came out worth every penny. Probably the best accessory Apple's ever made. I like, would agree. 
Dude, it's, it's great build quality. Awesome that your iPad floats. Extremely and an actual sturdy. good keyboard. Like it's actually great good. feeling keyboard. Great track. Like just a pretty good track. Though. Not not as amazing as a MacBook, not, but like I very mean, good. They did what they could. <laughs> exactly. Like my point being, Apple nailed that product. So when I see this for a hundred dollars, you I'm get like, oh, close to the mic, you asshole. I'm bro. I'm really. Tr I'm really trying. There you go. Okay. It's a podcast, my guy. Help I'm me sorry. out. Help me out. We, this is just shows all. I'm going to make place, you but... wear a mic. Oh, that's just a meaning. Yeah. Well, then get close to the mic so I don't have to do that. Who's texting? Okay. Here's the thing, John. First of all, why is it in two pieces? Immediate, why immediately got three feet away from the microphone, people? Immediately. But I got. I turned I, my I, voice I, up, so it's okay. Okay. If I turn I'm my voice up, I'm trying to eliminate up, the echo in your room. Sorry. Here, is this? Are you more comfortable now? I mean, <laughs> are you more my, my audio probably sounds terrible. Great, I'm in me a completely too. untreated room. Go ahead. Here's the thing. Why is this in two pieces? This is the first major red flag. I've never seen Apple do this where you have to put it together is for it, 250 Is it in two pieces or is yours broken? No, no, it's how it comes. <laughs> so, so you've got the back piece, yeah. which, right, magnetically snaps, and it's good. Actually, really strong magnets on the back, no complaints. But the first thing you run into is, like, it's kind of weird to flip out the little dongle on the back, the little yeah. stand, right? Like, it think, you think the, it'd be nice, and then you realize... The yeah, the kickstand. You, you realize, like... It's just, it's like kind of loose and it just kind of oh, sits that, there. That looks rough, not going to lie. So I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. It's also like hard to grab it and not grab the entire thing on the yeah. back because it actually barely sticks out. So you, a lot of time you end up grabbing it. I'm like, okay, that's weird. Um, it's only available in white. Yeah, the dirtiest so color. going to get really dirty. But the real problem is the front. Because um, oh, I got I was pretty scared as about what soon as there. you um let gravity take it into play, uh, it um yeah. Now I've tested this on the Magic Keyboard, and it it will pop off a little bit, but it doesn't unhinge because it's got that mechanism to yes. allow you to bend it yourself. This every time, oh, it's actually staying. Is that be, oh that's because I'm go, on the wrong angle. Yeah, when you go Watch to demonstrate this. it, go ahead. If you do it on this side. Uh-oh, it's getting a little it's, sus. Maybe yeah. it holds sometimes. This is not proving my point great in the moment. But there's also a really cheap-feeling gap, like when the keyboard's just sitting here. Like, uh -huh. like there's a gap on the end, and it's just – it's horrible. Like, also, finally, when you actually set up the folio, which is just – it like, what? What are we doing, guys? Yeah, that's – that looks what is, comical. Like, like what is this? Oh my god! How can you make the like iPhone 14 Pro, which is uh, so good in so many ways, and then you make this, oh. the letter Z? Dude, it's rough. And like, it looks like a shark. I don't jo want jo a shark, Johnny, bro. Uh, Johnny Ive is probably very upset. It's just, it's so cheap feeling. Now the keyboard itself also doesn't feel as good as the Magic Keyboard. Well, of course not. It's not very magic-y. But, but there's a function row, John. Did you see it? There's a function row on oh, the cheap cool. iPad. Yeah. I don't know why base iPad users have been clamoring for a function row. Okay. But oh, Sam. the keyboard just came off. Yeah, it came off. Okay. When it is all set up in its own fucky way, right? Its own special fucky way. Uh, what is the experience like? Once you Bad. get it all together and <laughs> it sits too low. It sits way too low to the ground. Yeah. Like... Here, I'll just show you. Like, it sits like this. You have to adjust the stand. And you're like, wait, with the screen this small, it feels weird that it's just like sitting. I mean, I'm yeah. again, this is, I'm saying this coming from the Magic Keyboard, right? Like, which yeah. nailed it. This is just subpar and absolutely not worth it. And I recommend this to absolutely no one. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's review, everybody. No, okay, I'm but the, see, like, but I, the iPad, what do you think? The iPad itself is honestly fine. Like I genuinely think it's a pretty good device. Now, four fifty is definitely pushing it. I think three ninety nine. I think three ninety nine would have been better. I am one hundred percent with you for three ninety nine. Yeah, but four fifty is just, it's just creeping. You know, four fifty is creeping. Like it's just I, okay. like you are so close to an iPad Air. I want to ask your thoughts about something. Did you watch Dave Two D's video about the iPad? Dude, I haven't. No, I haven't watched okay. anything. I'm in. I am in torment. He made an argument. <laughs> <laughs> buy a genius bomber genius buy a genius blood. bomber and make me happy again yeah i can only happy. leave ohio if you buy a genius bomber. we have to sell 300 for him to come back 
Um, did basically one of the main arguments in the video was that the non-laminated display is actually a good positive feature okay. of this device. Yes, because if it breaks, it's a much cheaper repair. Yes, which is good for students and people that paid four fifty for an iPad. I still disagree. Okay, I like it. Go on in that regard. I, 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 it just doesn't look great. Like for 450, mm -hmm. I do expect a better iPad display than this, considering mm -hmm. that, I don't know. It's just, there's so many, we've talked about this. I don't know. This is just my mini review that I've tried it and the accessory is basically all the accessories are garbage. Like even the Apple yeah. Pencil one in 2022, it's just, to look this up just to like, <sighs> it's so weird. Have context here. What are you looking up? The, I'm, lo I'm going to the page for the iPad. Because it's so pretty. Like, it's yeah. it's the best-looking, vibrant iPad they've ever done. It's like the back of the iMac. And I just – I want Apple to bring this to phones as well. I actually tweeted Jaws. Um, I was like, bro, you guys killed it on this. Please. Yeah. Please can – sorry, I keep sitting back. Please do this for more Apple products. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to oversaturate. Dude. It's okay. They look amazing. Like, that They're, yellow oh. is so good. I saw them in store. The metallic, um, the metal. Okay, is the blue better than like the iPad Air blue? It seemed a little bit better. I'm gonna pull up my photo. <clears throat> excuse me, that I took real quick. If you share the screen here, look at me being so multitasking. <laughs> so here we go. I mean, come on. That's a fire lineup. There we go. It's an absolutely beautiful lineup. Oh, that is that pink. Dude, that pink. I kind of wish I I would have. Mm. It's just it's so good. But you want to know something funny? What is funny, Sam? So I don't think my Apple Store got any of the pencil adapters in. Okay. So, John, when I was in the store, yeah, trying to use the Apple Pencil with the iPad, I tried every pencil on every iPad, and it didn't work. I don't think it was fucking set up because I didn't have the dongles. <laughs> Like when the actual Apple store can't even use the pencil because they don't have the dongle in stock. And by the way, this is something else that I tweeted about as well. You can't get the dongle until mid-November in a lot of stores the in the US. The dongle is ridiculous, but can I say something? Yeah, please. I would like all the tech influencers to shut the fuck up. About? Everything about this iPad. Talking about how it okay. doesn't have the same Wi-Fi connectivity, like slower Wi-Fi. It doesn't, bro. You're the only one looking at that. Who gives a fuck, dude? Who gives a single fuck? These people buying this thing in Walmart don't care. They don't care. They will never know. It's not important. They don't know how to read yet? The, exactly. the iPad is the first time they've ever seen characters. They're like, well, this screen. book lights up. I can touch it. That's all they know. Yeah. They do not care about the fucking <laughs> Wi-Fi connectivity. They just, it's its so ridiculous how people are picking this product apart. It's not yeah. for you. If you pick it apart, don't buy it. You're not supposed to buy it. Buy an iPad Pro and be happy. Yeah, exactly. But no, it's, I mean, People are be being fair. too hard on this thing. Uh, granted, the dongle is terrible. The accessory yeah. is questionable. The iPad itself is fine. It's, it's yeah, the iPad fine. itself is fine. I yes. would agree with that. I would agree that it is fine. After you, like somebody's actually used it, actually spent time with it, like, it's fine. Some, and, anybody would be happier than an iPad. Yes. Um, obviously, if you care about the screen. Now, now, I will say the iPad Air should go away. Excuse me? The iPad, Air, the iPad Air should go away. You think we just have iPad and iPad Pro? I, I th okay. I, you know what? I'm getting, I'm going to start getting with you because... This is creeping so far up that I feel like we should just... I think you're right. We should just merge iPad Air and the regular iPad. And then we have iPad and iPad Pro. The issue with that is the product lineup is now too far segmented. And Tim Cook wants the most choices to sell the most products. Because you can effectively sell the same iPad if you just put another iPad out in the middle of the year. Call it the iPad Air. You've, you've already sold more units. So you just... yeah. More, more options equals more money and more sales, and so they're, they're not going to do that. But I am totally with you. I think we should just have iPad and iPad Pro. Yes, And iPad exactly. Pro, Pro Ear. IPad so Pro not Max. iPad Mini? Great. Are I we getting an iPad, iPad Pro Mini Max? That's, bad... that's, first of all, shut the fuck up. That 16-inch <laughs> iPad that we're hearing about, the rumored yes. one, iPad Pro Max, yes? It's going to be called iPad Ultra. Calling it right now. iPad Pro Calling Max. Calling it right now. 
I'll bet a thousand dollars. It's gonna be iPad Ultra, I and not bet iPad you Pro Max. Thousand dollars, it's iPad Pro Max. All right, shake. You yeah. guys saw it. Tweet us the day that the iPad Ultra slash iPad Pro Max. There is no way they call it Pro Max. It, it is the going to be. Name. It's. It's gonna be iPad Ultra, guaranteed. A, a, a th two thousand dollars. No, we're st we're sticking at a thousand. Oh, not you're not confident. You. No, no, I'm not as rich. You're not as confident. You. No, I'm not. I don't make as much money as you and Mark. Why are you Keep worried about that? You mouth. wouldn't have to pay me money if you're right. You would get two thousand dollars. What do we do Sam. if we're both wrong? What do we do if we do both? Just give it to each other. <laughs> oh no! What if we are both wrong? What if, if they just do iPad Max? What if they do iPad they Plus? Could, they they could. But it's, no, it's iPad gonna be Ultra. iPad Pro. It's gonna be iPad Ultra. iPad Pro Max, thousand dollars. Or iPad Studio. <laughs> no. iPad Pro I'm Max. Gonna say, I, iPad Studio or iPad Ultra. No, I'm you can't. You, right you have to pick one. You have to put. $1, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna on say iPad name. Ultra. But also, if it's not either of that, neither of us lose money, so that's fine. If it's nothing, then we donate it to charity. I'm, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of money. Maybe just like, just, listen, not again. You're rich. I'm just I'm a little not orphan rich, boy. Dude. Yes, you are. You, you, want just, tell, you want me to I, tell him how much you made last month? I. You don't know, first of all. Also, I know exactly. God I know it. exactly. I also, can do the math. I know your also, rates. Also, 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 Sam. <laughs> You bought yes. a bunch of new stuff. Just don't buy don't buy stupid shit. Remember our slogan? Buy the bomber instead. Buy the genius bomber. Yeah. All right. I will buy a thousand genius bombers. <laughs> okay. I feel like we gotta talk. Oh no, no, sorry, we're not done with the iPad. You're you're getting this. You want this. You want a large screened iPad. Uh no, absolutely not. What no, the fuck? of course not. I don't You just I, sounded excited. What, I what use you iPad mini as my main iPad. Why would I want the biggest one? <sighs> Because I forgot you're a little That's baby too boy, big, little bitch dude. boy, That's little bitch boy, big. never grew up, sad little child who no, uses too an big. iPad mini. Also, you need to be a, an alpha dad, I did alpha get, daddy. I did get a new, I got this. What are you doing? What is going on with the genius bar? What are you doing? Bro, I got it, give I, it away, get it away. Oh, what happened? I clicked something. It's so you got the midnight MacBook Air M2? Okay, so what ha happened originally is I got a midnight, a, a midnight, a midnight <laughs> MacBook Air. Yeah. On launch day or whatever. And then I got rid of it because I was like, I don't need a MacBook. You know the whole, whole thing about VR, where we made fun of VR until we like really, tr until we really went into it. Okay. And you told me that I that I would love a MacBook, and I said no. You recall? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Clearly, I, multiple I like, times. I like it a lot. Bro, it's just better than the iPad at everything an iPad has been no, trying would, to do. Uh, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. iPad Mini is still great. <laughs> but like for okay so I, traveling i just i just like panic emergency bought a macbook air the silver one it's the silver's the okay. best color silver's the best color okay. i stand by that uh do you get like a high spec or just like mid-tier like what'd you what'd you do uh I, 16 gig ram uh okay. terabyte of storage you know just you know so like mid Plus, standard yeah uh because it's perfect for what it's so light it's wonderful yeah. for traveling it's wonderful for this i'm it's running the show right now it's a cute there's so much noise outside. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I don't have, even hear it. I'm gonna throw a, a rock out the window. A child. Let's throw a child, a child together. Throw a child out the window. A okay. consenting child. Uh, <laughs> consenting child. Maybe we throw you out the window. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm on right now, and I I really like it. Um, so I MacBook Air is great. Cause you haven't had a MacBook, right? Yeah, but I just not like not to use it. Like I had an old MacBook Air a while ago that I didn't use. <sighs> nothing yeah, recent, man. nothing M2, you know. John, I don't know where to get my medicine. You don't? You have you no. been to a pharmacy? There's so many lines and I usually wait till the last minute they're going to close. I have to stand on the line still. Bro. It's just a hassle. <sighs> And they've been doing this thing where they've been closing the drive through and it's just like, this is awful. I'm like, why haven't I just been using Amazon Pharmacy? Welcome, Amazon. This? Amazon Pharmacy yes. to Genius Bar. Hello. Dude, we're, we're moving up. Okay, moving here's the up. thing. Um, I don't know about you, John. I have a prescription that I need every month. I have, I, I have a lot. <laughs> Yeah, there's so a lot that keeps me a functioning human. <laughs> being able to save time, save money, and stay healthy with transparent pricing that works with most insurance. By the way, that's very important that it works with your insurance. Amazon Pharmacy is that. 
All right. It's going to help you be there day or night. And uh, I don't know what to say other than this is what I've been looking for. And I'm I'm signing up right now. Like, did I can't you know, wait to go. Did you know it gets even better for Prime members, which everyone here listening and watching is probably an Amazon Prime member. I, Prime, members, Amazon Prime member. You are? Yeah, man. Well, let me tell you, Prime members can save up to 80% on their prescriptions. And like I mentioned earlier, Amazon Pharmacy works with most insurance plans. And check this out. If you have ever, and I mean ever, have any questions, problems, or anything like that, a real pharmacist is always available at Amazon Pharmacy no matter what, no matter what time, day or night. They're not going to close the drive through You know what I mean? Your medication is delivered to your door, and there's no more rushing out the door. All right. It sounds like this is a pharmacy that works for your life with meds delivered to your door. It doesn't get any better than that. Switch to Amazon Pharmacy and save time, save money, stay healthy. Learn more at Amazon.com slash Genius Bar. That is Amazon.com slash Genius Bar. One more time, Amazon.com slash Genius Bar. Isn't that a sick URL, by the uh, way? Yeah. Average savings are based on usage and uh, inside RX data as compared to cash prices. Average savings for all generics are 78%, 37% for select brand medications, Restrictions apply. Thank you, Amazon Pharmacy, for sponsoring this episode of the and Genius thank you. Bar. So I really want a large iPad. I actually see myself using this as somebody who doesn't do digital art but just loves massive screens when I am doing work from an iPad. Yeah. I think that could actually make it really appealing for me. Okay. So I, I, I'm really excited. Coming late Q4 next year, according to the uh, Wayne Maw of uh, the information. Okay. I'm very excited. He seems to be very reliable, especially for iPad stuff. Apple did a very interesting interview this week. I, I, I would call it a fascinating interview. Yeah, very rare, fascinating interview. I also can't tell if you're showing the screen yet, and it's driving me crazy. I am. I, I, we can see it. Can you just? I need like a verbal confirmation because I can't. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> Team, <laughs> teamwork. So Joanna Stern of the Wall Street Journal, who I actually met before. She was at the last Apple event. She's I said hi. She's great, dude. She's great. And I think she wanted to stab me because oh. I probably annoyed her during work. Yeah. Sorry, Joanna. You're still the goat. <laughs> she. She's anyway. great. Anyway, sorry, I'm just tearing up over short interaction. You, you, anyway, you okay, man? No, I'm not okay. okay. And you know why I'm not okay? Because no one's buying the Genius Bomber jacket yet. Because they don't know. Because we haven't. <laughs> yeah, because it's not, not okay. Yeah. I'm not okay because Apple's cheeky, John. They're cheeky. Oh, look at this cam. Didn't know we could do that. Don't know what you're showing. Hopefully, it's safe. It's the MacBook Pro cam looking up at your nose. Oh, whoa. Oh, yeah. Hey, what up, guys? Should we switch to this one for the rest of the show? Yeah, we'll just do that. What is all this machinery on here? Like, it looks crazy. Okay. okay. Back to the screen. Let's play some of this interview because it's really fascinating. And she starts out with some zingers. Okay. I I don't think Apple knew they were walking into this because Greg Jaws laughs a little bit too much. Let's play yeah. the clip. A big problem. It's really it's a, glo- a global <laughs> crisis at this point. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up here. See if I can get this here. Uh-oh, All right. Props. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Terrifying. It is. It is. It's He's laughing a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna start with you. Listen, dude. He's I think he's low. A little bit. I I think he's low key mad. I caught think he's low key bit. mad. And I was like, oh, I've never seen. You, you can tell Greg's Craig's just like ah oh, whatever, but yeah, Jaws. Who uh, Jaws? I actually also met. He's really really. Well, that's crazy to think I met two of them on the uh-huh. stage. Anyway, they're really, Jaws is really, really cool. He was really friendly. Jaws. Actually, you okay. know what? They gave me a pointer as well. You're not going to hit me with that. Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> depends I, on the answer. <laughs> it depends on the answer. So, so she basically. What do, you, what do you see when you look at this? I see two really cool connectors. <laughs> two really yeah. cool connectors? Kind of the two most popular connectors in the world, I think, right now. Okay. Yep. Mm. This is so smug. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I mean, this is his job. He's literally the SVP of worldwide marketing. Yeah. Um, so she basically pushes him and is like, I think this is a mess and bad. And he's like, but lightning's great. Approved legislation to create a common charger. In fact, they said in a press release yesterday, in 2024, a USB-C port will become mandatory for a whole range of electronic devices such as mobile phones, tablets, and headphones. Just a round of applause. Is Apple moving to USB-C? Oh. Well, maybe I can step back a little bit. <laughs> so he goes on this whole tangent, which I'll skip over because it's um, just marketing speak, where he's like, actually, the EU tried to make micro USB the standard about 10 years ago. And just imagine where we would be as an industry if we were on micro USB. None of those options would <laughs> great options would exist. And I'm yeah. like, OK, Jaws, but that's not the point. You're clearly sidestepping the fact that Lightning is not only not a great connector, it's severely outdated. 
Like so, that's the problem. Like... If lightning was 40 gigabyte per second Thunderbolt speed, if it was uh, an insane waterproof rating because they had updated it a bunch over the no, lightning has essentially never been updated since it came out. It is the same right, port yeah. today as it was on the iPhone 5. Insane for a company that is so good at innovating in other places. Obviously, it's because Apple has control over the lightning port. They, they make sell a lot of so accessories. Much money licensing it. Dude. But also because Apple can change and do whatever they want with it. Like if they fully control the standard, it also does allow them to make choices. So there, there's benefits and cons for everybody. The point is it's outdated. So he finally gets around Not after she Not only is it outdated, him. by the way, it's outdated like in the Apple ecosystem itself because everything yes. else is getting US- has had USB C is getting yeah. USB C. The new iPad that just came out has USB C. Yep. It's time. Yeah. Also, so, I'm, why am I pink? So she asks billions yeah. of them, right? Because everybody has more than one cable, and so we preferred that path. Hold um, on, I'm sorry. Just keep you know, get to do what they're going to do, and obviously we'll have to comply. <laughs> we have no choice as as we do around. <laughs> There it is. But, you know, we think it, the approach would have been better environmentally and better for our customers to, to not have a government be that prescriptive. So there is the Apple SVB marketing saying that USB-C is coming to the iPhone. Okay. Bro. Now, okay. The, hang on. Do you think, why am I so bad looking? Do you think we're getting USB-C on iPhone 15 just in the EU? No. It's going to happen okay, everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. Fair enough. Now, I don't know if you saw, dude. I don't know if you saw, but there has been quite the uproar. I was on the front page of Reddit. There is a there is a, a Twitter account that has a million followers, and it's called it's Poorly Aged Things. They have screenshotted my tweet. Their tweet has 61,000 likes, and the tweet is from 2018. It is from John Prosser, yours truly. I'm and showing it, says, it on the screen. I bet my left testicle... Here we go. We'll show it for everybody. I bet my left testicle that Apple will not put USB-C in iPhones ever. This was <clears> a <throat> tweet from 2018 that no one really saw and is nope. now being stirred up once again. Well, congratulations on... You were, you were hot this week, bro. You're relevant. Yeah, you something like that. You keep this show relevant. So the fr- I was on the front page... So I... Brian was on, like, because he actually looks at Reddit. And he's like, dude, you're on the front page of Reddit. I was like, ah, no. But then he sent me the thing, and it's just like, and I think it was like, it was r slash age like milk. Yep. And, uh, yeah, so that's a uh, that's a thing that has occurred. Uh, I also said that I promised that I would shave my head and my eyebrows if, uh, if this happened. Now, obviously, I'm not going to really get rid of my nut. Nothing. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 what? What? I'm not going to cut out my test. I'm pretty sure you can't opt into cutting your own testicle out. You can't go to the doctor and say, you can. hey. Uh, hold on. You said I bet my left testicle. That maybe I, John. Maybe I could no, donate no, let, it to like, somebody that needs a testicle because I only need you, one. You're losing a testicle. One, like Whether it's a doctor doing it or I'm in a back alley with a machete and you're unconscious, like you will no longer have a testicle after uh, September 2020. Uh, what if I don't want it? So unfortunately, um, you had a tweet on uh, 6-13-2018 that said, I bet my left testicle, exact quote, that Apple – and, and I love how smug you are because you're, you're a little bitch like always. You, you say not only that Apple will not put USB-C in iPhones, you put an extra space and go, ever. I did. I, like you could have – because I, I would have let you off if you would have just said, I bet they're never going to put it in iPhone. But you go, ever. I did say that, didn't I? I bet my left not – Ever and I'm curious. Is there like a is there some favoritism happening between the nuts? Like why left go first before right? Uh, is left it that the is, one that hangs Left lower is my or? good boy. Yeah, left left is like left is unfortunately the good one. It is uh it is large and in charge. So you're losing the the only chance you have it a better future. Pretty much. Like if I was gonna have a kid, it was gonna be that one. That I'm sorry, it. man. Yeah. So I'm I'm just curious if you have an official statement. On this, like, uh, I haven't figured out the nut have... part yet, but I sure. will on the de- so I know right that it has been effectively yeah. confirmed. I know that, yeah. But I need to. See, it needs to officially come out on an iPhone. Just them saying it is not enough. I do believe it's going to happen, but in order in order for me to fulfill my promises, it has to be out. So the day, the day of the Apple event, if during the Apple event, it has USB C on the iPhone 15. 
I will, the very same day, shave my head and my eyebrows for everyone to see. And, and we'll, I, will, I will donate them. I will donate money to charity. It'll be a whole thing. But I will shave. I will shave my eyebrows off. Should I keep the beard or should I get rid of it? You're gonna need it. You're, that's gonna be your only chance at ever yeah, finding okay. someone. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna find you're, anybody. You're, you're one nut down. Yeah. I mean, that's that's already not great. If imagine that, great. like, if I even somehow get past all the all the hurdles to find somebody, well, I have no eyebrows, and no hair. Imagine once I tell them, oh, also. I voluntarily got rid of my left nut. Like nothing was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I just got rid of it because I told the internet I would. You lost a bet. Yeah, I lost a bet. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try to flip this on you. Go ahead. Could you imagine the views if I went to med school for the next six to nine months and learned how to remove a testicle and like I just, performed the like operation? Like you skipped all the on. other stuff and you're like, no, just the <laughs> testicle stuff. Just, <laughs> just how do I get this ball in yeah. my palm <laughs> without killing him? Yeah, without killing. Him. I don't well, want him to bleed out. There could be a casualty or two, yeah. but it's gonna be like Game of Thrones, where dude. You're just, that like, would be how out. I go out. I fucking bleed out getting rid of my left nut because of your I of your nuts. You bleed yeah. out of your nut. <laughs> wait, wait. I have a question. I just I didn't think about this. Where's your pee gonna be stored now? My pee. Yeah, it's stored in the balls. <laughs> Sam, you know what I like. What do you like, man? Free time, extra time. Oh, <sighs> it's hard to find these days, John. I know, I, but I want more time to cook. I want more time to uh, work on the book that I'm writing. I want to, or more, more realistically, I just want to like binge stuff on Netflix. That's like my favorite thing to do. And ClickUp yeah, allows me to do that. ClickUp began ClickUp. with the premise that productivity was broken. There were too many tools to keep track of. Too many things in entirely separate ecosystems. They had to be more productive. There had to be a more productive way to get through the daily hustle. ClickUp is the one tool to house all of your tasks. Tasks, projects, docs, goals, spreadsheets, and more. ClickUp is built for teams from 1 to 1,000 plus. It's packed with features and customization options that no other productivity tool has. And you can uh, work the way you want the best. You want to save time? Save time. I have a question. You can ask any question you want. That's what I'm here for. If it works for teams for one to even a thousand plus, does that mean we could use this to that save time? That means us. We're not one or a thousand plus, but we are two. Technically, what we're doing, we're in project management, we're in engineering, we're in sales, we're in marketing and HR. That is Genius Media LLC, that a is formal us. legal entity. So we need to do this. John, we got to use Code Genius to get 15% off ClickUp's massive unlimited plan for a year. I mean, you can wow, start you were really feeling that. Do that again. It's massive. How big is it? It's freaking so big john I mean we can start reclaiming our time for under five dollars a month you can get these massive savings for the unlimited plan sign up today at clickup.com and use code genius hurry this offer ends soon and thanks to ClickUp for sponsoring thank you click up you're the best so do you are you sad to lose the left nut like what's the of what's course the i don't like this i don't like like out of all the things i've done in my career this is what everyone and my twitter is unusable it's unusable. I can't use it. Anytime I log in, it's all about this. There's people that like, I have tweeted about this, <laughs> acknowledging that I've seen it. And there's people that constantly show it to me as if it's the first time that I'm seeing that I'm trending somewhere or that I said this. <laughs> I know I said it. Okay. And people like, are like, I know I'm famous. No, I people know are I'm like, relevant. I'm screenshotting this. So you, so you don't delete the tweet. I have never deleted a tweet. There are very embarrassing tweets of me that I have tweeted that are not deleted. I'm not going to delete the ball tweet, all right? I'm not. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to get through it together as the geniuses. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, but it's not looking good for your boy. It's not looking good for your boy, Jern. I will say that. It's not looking good for your kids either. It's not looking good for my boys, you know? It's not looking, Is there good, any... it's not looking good for your boy. It's not looking good for my boy. <laughs> I have a question. Is there any other tweets where you may have bet a right testicle on something? Like, could this be a complete that, castration? What, wouldn't just that be terrible? Because I've said it a couple times. I think Jason from Painfully Honest Tech had replied and was like, what are you going to do with your left nut? And I said, you can have it. So, like, not only do I have to get rid of my nut, I have to give it to Jason from Painfully Honest Tech. Because I just hmm. said that I would. Because I did I bet. Plan. You know what? Okay. Let's, let's do some research. In the can thread, you donate? Though. Can you donate? Oh, sorry. Do you want to read the comments? No, I don't want to read the comments. I just want to say, in the Reddit thread, a lot of people stood up for me, saying that, well, technically, Apple's not willingly doing this. They're not They're not choosing to do this. They have to do this. So does it count the same way? Do you think it counts? I still have to get rid of my nut. It does, because you said the word ever. I did. I didn't say willingly. I, did, I just said they would never do it. Wow. 
I'm in trouble. This is Sam. a this is a sad day. Sam, can well, it, what? How can I get out of this? Is there a loophole? Yes. What is the there loophole? There is one. There is only one option. Go ahead. We are going to. Well, I can't say that out loud. What? I don't. I don't want you to have to edit. So I'll, I'll self edit. Okay. Go ahead. We are. Go, hold on. I I actually have an edit a real time edit button. We are going to go to the factories and we are going to them to pieces. We are going to go to every single manufacturer of USB-C in the known universe and put you're a little tiny something. in the you're, factory. You're on to something, Sam. So all we have to do is make sure – I never considered that. What if USB-C just doesn't make it to the iPhone, you know? What if something goes wrong and it saying. just doesn't make it? That's what that's what I'm here for, man. I got see, I got you and your boys. I think you're right. This is the only, and we're gonna do this together because I can't do it alone. We're gonna save my boys. <laughs> All right, we got this, bro. I mean, what yeah, a you really got your plan from the geniuses. I think we're gonna have to sell some genius bombers for your medical fund because I don't think you're wealthy enough. Okay, to pay but for... like, they're like canceled. I'm not, I'm not really canceled, but like, this is a very odd thing. Like, I've never had a tweet literally brought up. This is what it feels like. And that tweet was from like five years ago, dude. And it wasn't even controversial. <laughs> and it only has like, it only had maybe a hundred likes back then. Bro, imagine you offended someone in the same tweet. Like imagine you said something bad, like in the space below yeah. this and it blew up. Yeah. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, what if I, I would donate my left testicle if uh, the iPhone ever has USB-C also. <laughs> like if that was the tweet. That would be really. Oh, by bad. the way, your your boy, your boy Kanye is a fuck fucking asshole. Yeah, yeah. You we we agree that he's an asshole. Yes. By the way, oh my god, please no, nobody clip that of me bad. saying. <laughs> people were complaining on the podcast last week saying, "Don't get political." I'm not here for politics, bro. What is political? We just Kanye fucked up. Kanye, we talk about Kanye all the time. When we talk about negative stuff, how is it all all of a sudden we're not allowed to talk on our own podcast? No, it's just because we were saying things like i think the people commenting that were probably like kanye is right and i'm like no no that's not cool bro <laughs> like just being oh. like this entire group of people are bad for like it's just it's literally also just today like, today ish it is official elon owns twitter <sighs> he owns it and the the elon stands are absolutely ridiculous like the pictures of him they think he's a god the Photoshop pictures of him as a superhero, and they think he's going to solve all their problems. I bet Twitter doesn't change <sighs> at all. There's going to be slight changes. Unfortunately, well, I don't know. I, not really, unfortunately. So Kanye is back. They, he already brought Kanye, but he reinstated his account. Yeah. Elon is reinstating every permanently banned account on Twitter. Every single one. So Alex Jones is going to come back. Trump is going to come. Well, Trump, I think Trump said he's going to stay with True Social, but he has the opportunity to come back. Uh, I was publicly saying on this podcast that I don't believe that people should be permanently banned. I understand that Twitter can do that. I think Twitter should be able to do whatever they want. That's how it works. They make the rules. I just don't think they should be banning accounts. So I am okay with these banned accounts. I I guess being reinstated and and coming back, that's going to be the biggest change to Twitter. Is the is the people sure. that, the people that were banned coming back immediately? Uh, other than that, I don't think we're going to have too many big changes because I think he's gonna. I think he's bitten off more than he can chew. I know that everyone thinks he's a superhero, but I don't think he understands what Twitter is, and it's going to be it's going to end up all his promises are going to. This is going to hurt Elon in the long run, I think, because he's made a lot of promises, joking or not, memeing or yeah. not. He's made a lot of promises that he is not going to be able to fulfill because Twitter is not the platform and the outlet to fulfill those same promises. And so to sustain Twitter, a lot of Twitter is going to have to stay the same. And by doing that, he's going back on a lot of promises and he's going to hurt himself, potentially hurt his, his other companies. I don't know. I just think he's bitten off a little bit more than he could chew. And I'm okay with Elon. I'm a, I'm not like an Elon stan, but I I, I do like him. I respect him. Uh, so people have like this misconception that I, I'm a fucking hater. Like it's like if you just say something that you, if you disagree, oh, bro, you just a hater. You don't know. I know. Everyone is smarter than me. Excuse me. You're all smarter. Elon is, is the best, and you know, you know better than I do. Uh, I just think he's bitten off more than he can chew. Sam, what do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with a lot of what you said. Personally, I, if I was CEO, I would choose to keep 
I mean, obviously, I'm sure some some statistic number of accounts were banned for a bad reason or like not fairly. But like for Donald Trump, right the way, we're not talking about the content. We're talking about the fact that he broke the rules of a platform he was on so many times over. <laughs> like, I don't feel bad for you. It, like, I've never been banned from Twitter. Yes. I've never had an issue. Like, I because I'm not a dick. Because I'm not attacking groups of people. Wait like, I just feel like that's so not hard to do. It's so... You have to try to be an asshole. Yeah. So, yeah, you should get punished. Like, I, I just feel like that's such an obvious thing. Like, I, I don't know. Of course, this is just my personal opinion. I just wanted to find this. Can you show my screen real quick? I, I found yeah, a, a funny thread that I think some of our, our fans wrote. Oh, goodness gracious, dude. It's called, Do You Consider Elon Musk Your Lord and Savior? This can't be real. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Oh, Sam, what's that sound? That's the sound of Capital One, baby. Capital One. Welcome back to the show, Capital One. John. Sam. Do you deserve better banking? Be honest. I do, I do but here's the thing. I don't want to just be selfish. I think everyone deserves better banking. <sighs> You're right. You know why? It's because they're investing in machine learning. That means easier access to your money and more security. I don't know another bank doing it better than Capital One. They're fighting fraud with random forest models that detect suspicious activity, and they make it faster to alert federal investigators. Federal. That's not local. That's federal. That's all investigators. Of them. That's uh, that's the big time boys. That's like Joe Biden. They go right to Joe <laughs> Biden. They say my <laughs> they money go gone. To Joe Biden. <laughs> Listen, hey, here's how I do. Sam's Sam's bank is down, and we think there's some fraud. Joe, can you sign this, please? He's like, they call me Random Forest. All right, here's what the app does as well. They detect casual models to detect mobile app outages. John, when, before, or after they happen, do you think they're doing this? Uh, never because they never happen. Exactly. That was a trick question and you absolutely passed. Listen, Thank you. you can also <laughs> speed up online shopping with machine learning at the edge. You can make shopping with virtual card numbers smoother and more secure. Listen, the potential of machine learning is so big, John. You could say it's huge. Is it huge? It's massive. Massive. That's why I'm going to search machine learning at Capital One because John, Capital One. Uh, we got to do it. In, we got a perfect timing. Ready? Capital One, what's, what's in, in your, your wallet? wallet? What's in your wallet? Thank you, Nailed Capital One, this for week. sponsor. Capital hey, One, thank sponsor. you. So Elon owns Twitter now. Hooray. Uh, and iPhone and news. We got USB-C. Yeah, we got a uh, Go to frontpagetech.com, if you will. Oh, I actually wrote an website. article today. What? Yeah, the article today is from me. Whoa, what's that like? What was it like to write? It was fun. Okay, so Shrimp Apple Pro, our dude. Newer, but also great leak source account, whatever, on Twitter. He said True. that there was a project codenamed Bongo, with it, which was going to be an iPhone with no physical button. That's all he tweeted. So that it has now been backed up by Kuoming Chi. It's not as bad as we thought. It's not like it's not like the screen goes over or anything like that. But what is going on here is Kuoming Chi has said that Sort of what they did with the iPhone 7, where the home button was uh, static, but it, it had a, a taptic engine behind it that made it feel like a click, similar to the trackpads on the MacBooks. The, the buttons are not going to be actual physical tactile buttons. They're going to be static buttons with taptic engines behind them that mimic the feel of a click. So yeah. for the most people, you're not for the most people buying these things, you're not even going to notice the difference. Uh, so iPhone 15 Pro, no physical buttons. That ended up being real Shrimp Apple Pro. Unless, of course, this is wrong. We're just saying Quo is now backing him up. Uh, Sam, what do you think? No physical buttons on iPhone 15 Pro? Are you uh, okay with that? W. W. Water less moving parts. Water resistance and uh, yep. just, just because. And less moving parts means something's less likely to break. Taptic Engine has been insanely reliable, so we know there's no issues with quality there. And uh, the only thing is, like, yeah, how is it going to work with cases? Like, how are, how are the buttons going to work? Are they going to have to be cutouts? I don't know. Oh, that I is would, interesting. Would... That's a good point. Now, I'm going to just throw this out here because I've, I've seen this comment on Twitter. Couldn't the phone manufacturers – you know how um, there's special gloves where when you wear them, it, it yes. just senses your finger? Yeah. Couldn't the manufacturers just put some material similar to that on the inside so that when you press the button, it feels like it's your finger? I don't see why not. 
I don't know. It was just a thought that I had literally three seconds ago when I was like, yeah, the, yeah. Because I was like, why couldn't they? And then I'm like, oh, they probably just could. <laughs> like, I'm, I, I'm sure well, there will be someone be that a, figures it's not out something. Be a screen. Okay. Do you have? Okay, your MacBook Pro. I can't do anything because uh, I'm running the show on my MacBook. Yeah. What about? What about? Can you put something over your trackpad and see if it still clicks? Uh, I don't see why do it any, wouldn't. Do I have any paper? Like a oh. shirt or something. I don't know. Okay. This is just for you guys. Oh God, thank you. Well, it's still. I think it'll still click. It still it. clicked. It doesn't yeah. move as well, but it, it clicks, but it doesn't move. All you need to do is click. Correct. There we go. Solved so, on the genius bar. Case is yeah, gonna be fine. Awesome. We created our own problem and then figured out how to fix it. Yeah, <laughs> we are engineer. Yeah, there you go. People are probably um, like people were probably screaming at us while we were talking about that. Yeah. Dude, yeah, we're kind of dumb. It's fine. I like it. Are you are you in? Are you down for iPhone 15? Absolutely, I'm down. Yeah, sure. I anything that makes the pros feel special <laughs> and an upgrade, I'm in. I think we should get a new accessory. That's two pieces. No, what I no, what I've one actually is been a interested in. And one is a keyboard. I realize that people need to be getting hype for the iPhone 15 because they it's a be redesign year. Yeah, it's a redesign year. It is, but what? Damn, exactly. it's really going to be three years since the 12. But, okay. Have, they haven't really been following that trend. They've kind of just been doing whatever they want. No, they've been doing it every three years. You think we're gonna get, we're finally going to get our complete redesign? Yeah, it's it's every three years. You th But you think we're going to get iPhone, a redesign? iPhone 10? Okay, I know. iPhone 10s, I... iPhone 11, iPhone 12 iPhone 13, iPhone 14. So you ex you're expecting it, but what else? What what are they going to do that gives us a full redesign? That's Apple's job. That's why I'm saying I'm excited because we haven't even we have no idea what this phone is going to look like. Yeah, I guess so. That's exciting. Fair point. Fair play. Like, point point for the boy. Here's a question for you that I may or may not kind of agree with, even though I hate myself for agreeing Go on. with what I think you're going to say. We'd we'd love to hear it. Should the iPhone have square edges or rounded edges? Aesthetically, square, uh, square edges, of course, but rounded edges. Like when I pick up my iPhone XS, dude, oh, it's so comfy. Also, 5.8 inches on the screen is the perfect yeah. size. Uh, I, I will say I, I do like the little bit 6.1 gives. I, I, I like the 6.1 size. Do you? But I, I do. Thank you for asking. I, I kind of agree with you, and as much as I kind of want a change to be back to the rounded, I also... I can't see them going back to rounded because no. everything, their design language for everything has been squared edges now. The iPads, Maybe it'll be the more Mac like the Macs MacBook. are getting more square, like everything is. Hmm. I'd be down for that, like flat that then bevels down like the MacBooks. I would or the Apple Watch. Maybe, maybe more like the Apple Watch Ultra. I'd be down. I'd be down for that. I just thought about something. Go ahead. What if they did something like the Ultra where they put the bezel like uh, raised? No, that would be ridiculous, I think. <sighs> I want an like a little John, lip? I want I want an iPhone Ultra so bad. I mean, we are getting one, right? Allegedly the Pro Max, they are going to like actually differentiate from the Pro, which makes me sad because I don't want and that's so we have too Ger big. German that has alluded to that. We have Kuomin Chi that has come out and said it outright. So, uh we're definitely getting that. Oh, wait. You <sighs> might be right about the iPad Pro Ultra because they're changing the Pro Max to iPhone Ultra, iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone Ultra, whatever the fuck. So All right, I'll make you, you a deal. Your bet might be correct. Go ahead. I'll make you a deal. You can get out right now for 750 No, I'm going to stick to 1000 Okay. iPad Pro Max is my answer. <laughs> All or nothing, you, Are you listening to yourself? For $1,000. Everybody let me know who's right down below, and it's not him. It's me. <laughs> Sam, boy, I tell you, it's spooky season. Woo! I'm getting the chills. Uh, you know I said spooky because I'm about to talk about spirits, and no one does spirits better than Reserve Bar. Welcome, Reserve yes. Bar, to the show. We're not talking about the spooky spirits. We're talking about the spoopy spirits, if you know what I mean. Ooh. Have a bottle custom engraved with your name, a date, a logo. Create a perfect gift. Listen, I'm just saying there's some stuff for coming up. You might have a birthday. You might have a Thanksgiving. You might have a Christmas coming up. Listen, I'm just saying. I'm not throwing it out there. I'm not forcing you to do it. I'm just saying Reserve Bar might be the perfect gift for you. 
That's what I'm seeing, man. Apparently, the hot trend right now is did ready you know, to drink cocktails. Did you know, Sam, that you can what? build your dream home bar at Reserve Bar? All you have to do is select the spirits, the wine, and bubble that you love. And they've also got glassware and mixing tools that you need. What? For me? For you and for everybody else. They, all, they also offer the Cocktail Lounge, your online source for inspiring new cocktail recipes and the oh. stories behind your favorite brands. Because, you know, all these brands have a history you want to learn a little bit. Ready to drink yes. cocktails tastes better than ever. And Reserve Bar now has them. The pre-mixed drinks are great to have on hand for outdoor events. We're, la- we're a little bit later in the show. This ad is coming in later. We know that if you're listening to this, you're probably into the hot trend of spirits. Dude. I'm going to visit ReserveBar.com today and use promo code GENIUS to save $10. That's 10 buckaroni ronies off your purchase of $75 or more on spooky spirits, wine, or pre-made cocktails. But only when you only when you use our special offer at ReserveBar.com. Massive. Code genius. Massive savings it's massive. at ReserveBar.com. Massive and $10 bill coming right off. Genius. This offer expires on December 31st, 2022. Thanks to Reserve Bar for sponsoring this episode. Thank you, Reserve Bar. uh, Stay spooky. Oh, I guess we should talk about products coming this year. We do have more stuff on the way. We have MacBook Pro on the way. Uh, Is that no longer November? Has that been pushed? Because from what I understand, mass production, I just, this is what I told, mass production started like recently. So are we going to get an announcement in November and then ship in December? Because I don't know how they're going to be ready to ship in November. It's the exact same MacBook they've been making. I know, but if mass production just started, like last week. That that happens a lot for products like this. I know, but if mass production started last week, that puts us on pace for a December ship. I don't think they're going to wait that long. I think think at least the announcement's going to be That's what I mean, at least an announcement in November. Yeah. Probably probably second or third week November. Do we think we're going to get the Mac Mini? M2? That'd be cool. Final, just to get that out of the way. Are they going to do another mini event with like a hashtag on Twitter, a hash flag? Yeah, where... okay. Do you, are you a believer in the November event? Yes or no? Just I mean, as, we, as far we, as new we, products, yes. No. That's not what I asked. I said, are do you believe, because your stance was different last week, do you believe we're getting an actual November event? And don't give me your bullshit about how press releases are in event. I'm talking about an actual produced event event you know exactly what i mean are we getting one um no we are not getting a produced event no i've I've never said that we were getting a produced event in november you said of course we're you said obviously we're getting an event i think you might be legitimately thinking of somebody else i've never said we. i don't talk to anybody else sam (laughs) (laughs) listen i mean you're right but also i didn't say that i did not say (laughs) we're getting a november event (sighs) Are you good? Do you want to talk? Are you sad because there's not going to be a November event? You're just taking it out on me. Yeah, that's it. So you think just press releases. So, okay. Yeah, Mac, yeah. Mac Mini? Yes or no? Give me a percentage. Mm, Mac Mini. 60%. More likely than not. Okay. But not extremely likely. M2 Pro, M2 Max, MacBook Pros. 99%. Okay. Did we have any more products? <laughs> <laughs> Um, out already? I'm gonna throw one out there. Hit me. New colors for AirPods Max. New colors for AirPods Max. Is this something you know? No, no. I first of all, I don't leak. Second this of all, this is a guess. Um, yeah, just a okay, just an educated Sam, guess. Sam, they're not listening. Is this something that you know? No, first of all, I said I don't leak, but second of all, no, I just. Are you lying to me? No, I'm not lying to you. Here's why I say this: Sometimes you Gert... have little parties. German, yeah, but I don't. I'm not a leaker. Um, German had said a couple months ago. This is what I'm basing this off of: that Apple was going to release new AirPods Pro and likely new colors for AirPods Max in the future. And I just think it's going to be two years since AirPods Max have come out. I mean, maybe there's like a new chip It'd or be, something it would inside. Be a good time right before Christmas. I love them. I could just see them some fresh colors like because what? AirPods uh, purple, um, yellow. Red, Bro, yellow, yeah, that yellow that's on the iPad for it looks so good. Yeah. <sighs> so I, I, this is just what I'm seeing. If if I was Apple, I would do this. AirPods Max are starting to get really popular. Like people that I would right. never expect to know about AirPods Max. Like uh, like the last girl I was talking to, she had dude. This is crazy. She this is why I thought she was the one. That's a joke, <laughs> by the way. Um, 
She had AirPods 2, okay. AirPods Pro, yes. AirPods 3, and yes. AirPods Max. Yes. What a what an AirPods. She's thing. a normal like a normal person that does not care They're about technology. Great, well, that's, AirPods she, is like AirPods is an enigma. They're their own thing. It's just like you don't even need to know that Apple that brand by itself is so ridiculously <sighs> successful. Yeah. No, they are. And my point being, I think Apple can really spur consumer sperm. interest by releasing no spur spurn would be like slow down sperm are you a sperm whale i feel like you would be a sperm whale loki why because i'm fat no because you're full of sperm not if i get rid of a nut sorry yeah what happens does your body just know it's like all right put all of it in yeah, this section yeah no your right one will it's, it's like all right boys we got this it just does a little bit extra it's like a backup yeah it knows it's like oh we lost him Man down. <laughs> Man down. Yeah. Uh, is it like a? It adapts. Like, is it is it twice as sensitive then? Because it's absorbed like the energy from the one that left. I wonder if it gets twice as big. Like, have I honestly, just got, I feel if like I just one... have one big fucking nut. That'd be kind of more. I feel like that's more masculine than two. First of all, I'm a firm believer that you should be Sam. Do you check every day? You check your nuts every day? They recommend once a month. I check them every day. Medical professionals say about once a month you well, should yeah, do the little every bowl. day in the shower I give it a little little loop a loop a loop a loop check you know well what what's the I always because this is actually important we have a mainly male audience what's the like if I'm trying to find something shaped like my nut oh um, no God, I'm, I'm sorry mom this is really bad here this is kind of like a nut shape and this is about as good as we're gonna get right now. Actually, you know what? Let's use this. This is, this is, I mean, it's a little bit bigger than a nut. Yeah. But, you know, let's say. So, what's the pro? Could you demonstrate what the process is like? Cause I feel like I've never been sure. I just kind of like. Go around. Okay. I, so, well, I kind of just, I just kind of do a, I think they said you like rub your thumbs and you're just kind of supposed to go around the nut to make sure there's no like lumps or bumps that yeah. are unusual. And you would know, like, if you're doing this, every, that's why, that's another reason why I do it every day because I would know if there's a change. Like, I know what they feel like and I know if something's mm. weird. And if you have like a hard, a little hard lump going somewhere or just something's a little funky, just go get checked yeah. out. It's better to be safe than sorry, you know? Yeah. But anyway, that's important, boys. This is, uh, I feel like this isn't no nut November about that kind of. I don't know. So basically it's going to be quiet on the Apple front for a couple weeks. A little bit. We got the new products. Oh, new Apple TV. Sorry. New Apple TV on Friday. Oh yeah. New Apple TV. Is there anything else coming this year? I guess no event. Um, I, I'm okay. So I'm for no event then because they can just do yeah. the max in a press release. Um, yeah, nothing else. If they I did this, if they did this iPad stuff, why do I feel like we're forgetting something? I do feel like we're forgetting something. Mac what Mini. are we forgetting? Mac Mini, MacBook Pro. Oh, Mac Mac Pro. Mac Pro is not coming. Oh yeah, okay, that was the other one. So that's what we we're missing, and that's not happening, right? All right. So next week, for everybody to say to the end, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna spoil it. Oh, go ahead. We're doing a boys' trip to LA. A boys' uh, no, a men's trip. A man's trip. Speak for yourself. I'm boss, baby. I mean, that's true. Um, I, I, I am a man. Are you excited, bro? Wait, okay, I have a question because I never on my one nut. <laughs> <laughs> did you end up booking the same flight as me there, or what's? Or did you just get all I did? Stuff? All I did was book a flight to you. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I only did was book a flight to you. It's like I'll figure it out when I get there, but I, I don't it probably won't work, that, right? You should probably buy a You're ticket right. on the flight. You're that right, I... dude. Like, like right now, I don't even have a, I don't have a ticket back from Ohio, so I might go from Bro. here to there to yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, my we're, we're... my life is you know the you know Jenga blocks. Yeah. You know when it goes wrong and they all fall. <laughs> That's my life. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Genius Bar. Thank you Here for watching. Thank you for there. listening. By the Genius Bomber. Dude, I'm so... how do we get away with Boss Baby merch? I've already thought about this. Uh, we have to I monetize don't know. the Boss Baby. Well, we would have to co-brand. Like, I don't know how we get access uh. to the IP. Anyway, genius dot supply the genius, genius dot bomber. supply buy I your genius bomber eighty nine ninety nine. Don't buy it's, stupid shit. It's, buy the bomber. It's, it's literally going to change your life. Don't buy Look stupid shit. This. Buy the bomber. Genius supply. Oh,
Look at that! The best bomber that's ever been bombered. The best one. Fires today. Okay. At Genius available right now. Available now. Available now. Available now. Available now. Ships in three to four weeks. Love Link down in the description in the show notes. Okay, bye. bye. We did it. All right. We did it. Oh my God, we did a show.